Hey y'all, how y'all doing? This is your girl Tashi and I am back with a new series. Yes, this is a new one. I'm not sure what I'm going to call this or what I'm going to title it. Um, but right now, this is a... Uh, I'm going to give you a backstory of these two people here, okay? Before I get started. So, this guy right here, um, his name is Elliot Williams. Um, and this is his grand this is his granddaughter her name is maya williams um he lives in this um i should i guess we should call this like a bomb shelter type of thing right now this is the living room this is the the kitchen well we should say kitchen slash dining room slash living room okay and uh, i'm gonna give you a little tour but i still want to give you a little backstory who he is um, Elliot served in the military. Um, got a few flags here. I should show you. He served in the military. He used to be a, a, um, a pilot. Yeah, he, you see, he has a few pictures. You see a little pilot. I mean, the pilot. I mean, plane. He loves flying the plane. He loves, um, you know, he loves music. So he has um, a piano. He has his. He's, Where's his wife guitar? His w wife guitar was uh, was sitting right here. I guess somebody took it or maybe he took it. I don't know. It was right here. <laughs> and um, this is him right here when he was a little boy. He loved playing the guitar. He, 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 he loved music, I should say, overall. He just loved music. And this is his wife. Um, what's her name? Sophia. I'm trying to remember their name. This is Sophia. Um, of course his wife is not around. She passed away. She, um, I think she passed away from, she had some type of illness, some type of illness she had. Yeah. She had had, she was, you know, she, oh, you know, passed away <laughs> anyway. So she loved music too. They met in a, like a, what do you call that place? A jukebox club. They met in like a, like a lounge where they play music. Um, Yeah. And this is their wedding day right here when they got married. And, um, you know, he loved his wife. He saved her hat. This is her hat right here. And like I said, the guitar, she she has a guitar that was sitting right here. I don't know what happened to it. Somebody took it. It was right here. And, uh, yeah, he has to have his music. He loves music. And then he has a few stuff here. He has, like, some computer stuff right here. He's good. He's good at fixing stuff. So he got his toolbox. He, he, I'm telling you, he is very good at fixing things. Um, and that's his. This is his uh, uh, great granddaughter. And her name is what's her name? Her name is Sky. Yeah, that's Sky. She's so cute. <laughs> but it's sad that she has to be in this situation here because something is going on out there. I know some of y'all probably wondering why they locked up in the, a bomb shelter because something is going on outside in the world. We don't know, but he did prepare this years ago, like slowly prepare this bomb shelter for years, for years. He had built this because um, he knew he seen some stuff. He heard some stuff and he knew that uh, something was going to go down. He just didn't know when and it happened. Okay, people, um, a lot of people had died. People, I guess, turned into zombies, I guess. They turned into something, something, some type of sickness. Something's going on out there. He has his, uh, you know, his, um, what you call it? What you call this again? Craft table. <laughs> you could call it craft table. You know, working table, whatever you want to call it. So, that's a little bit of backstory. Okay, so, all right, so this is his son, uh, Michael. And this is Michael's wife, Olivia. They both passed away in um, in a car accident on their way um, coming from the supermarket. And um, the only person that survived was, of course, their daughter, uh, Maya. And this is Maya right here. And look how beautiful she is. She's a sweet person. She's a very sweet person, very caring person. I know some of y'all wonder what happened to her arm. She got hurt. They were... Um, she and her daughter, they tried to escape all the chaos that was going on outside. And um, their granddad came for their, you know, came to their rescue. You know, he'll do anything for his granddaughter. 
You know, he's a sweet, he's a sweet, sweet old man. Very, very sweet. He loves helping people. Um, what else? So I'm going to give you a little more tour of this place. Okay. So let's start from up top because I know some of y'all wondering what, how it looks from outside. So I'm going to show you outside. This is outside. You can't really see. The, you can't really see it. It's like really hidden. All these big rocks. All these big rocks. He has a, he has a small camera right there. Um, I did have like a plant covering it, but it was doing some weird stuff. Like it was showing, like the plant was being like, you could see the plant inside of the place. It was weird. But uh, yeah, this is his truck that he abandoned. This is his truck that he abandoned. It was, it was crazy out here. Very crazy. He had flat tires. He hasn't been outside. So he abandoned this whole place. He, he abandoned this. But he will fix it one day. He's going to fix it. Um, and these are some creatures here. I really want to say creatures because they're not, they're human, but they're not like human. Look at her. Look at her face. Look at her. And this is his neighbor. But like, yeah, but they, they, they're hanging around here because I think because they saw them running inside here, but they can't get in. This place is secure. Okay. And he has more cameras. There's a camera hidden somewhere right here too. I, uh, where is it? Okay. So there's one camera here. I think there's another camera over here. He can see what's going. Okay. Yeah. There's a camera right there. I don't know if y'all can see it right there. So he got cameras everywhere. He's not playing like grand grand. We're going to call him granddad. Granddad is not playing. He's not playing with them. And then right here, he has a satellite right here. He has a camera right here pointing just in case, you know, if they try to break it down. He can see what's going on from the inside. Um, yeah. And the stairs come lead down here. These doors are very secure. So yeah, they're very, very tight. And then you have another door right here. That's very secure. Like, yeah, he's not playing. He has a water tank right there. Uh, what else? Um, what else I could show y'all? So I'm just showing you a little bit of everything before we get, you know, before we start the game. So this little area right here, you got another camera. <laughs> I know some of y'all probably say he's part. This guy is, is paranoid. Oh my God. So much cameras. Hey, it better. Be, it's better to be safe than sorry. Okay. Better safe than sorry. And, uh, yeah, you got a fire extinguisher just in case you never know. Got the garbage can right here. You got some boxes of some stuff in there. I don't know what's in there. You know, got the broom, buckets. Um, what else? Um, that's pretty much it in this area. It's not really much stuff to really show. You got a little bat right there that he had to use when he went to go get his granddaughter. Uh, he do have guns. He just didn't bring any gun, but he should have because he, he, you know, something could have really happened to him. Uh, I already showed you this area right here. Okay, so right here. This little, this area right here is all the stuff that he needs. He got oil, lots of oil. You can see he has lots of oil. He has, he has a lot of stuff that he needs. I mean, you know, this should be good enough. It is not real. This is not, the amount that he has of stuff here is only for good for like his granddaughter and his great granddaughter. But he's talking about he wants to go rescue more people. I don't know if this is, this is going to be enough. Um, but yeah, we'll see. You got some flashlights, some gas mask. Yeah, granddad is not playing, not playing. He's not playing, really not playing. Some more books, some stuff that that's in a suitcase. I'm not sure what's in that suitcase. He got some photo albums, some box, some clothes. And that box there, I don't know what's in here. But in here now, in here is where he's going to like try to plant food. You know, because just in case they run out, it's... You know, we're going to see how that's going to work. But he's going to, like, prepare food. I mean, plant food in here. Like, fruits and stuff, I should say. Um, he, he has a banana right there. And he has some seeds. A few seeds. He doesn't really have a lot. But he has some few seeds spread around there. He connect this water hose to the water tank that he has out there. So, yeah. We'll see how this is going to last, y'all. We're going to see how long this is going to last door here this room right here is the pantry this is where we keep all the goods in here as you can see as you can see we have tons and tons of cans of food 
this should last them for, for months. I don't know how many months, but months. If it's only between them three. Like I said, he's, he wants to rescue more people, but I don't know how this is going to work. This It might look like a lot, but to me, this is not really a lot. You got some potatoes, some more stuff that's in these cans, this barrel. Yeah, I mean, he has food. He has rice. He has a lot of stuff, you know. What's this? Rice or noodles, whatever. Yeah, we'll see how long this is going to last. So make sure you subscribe to this channel because let me tell you why. Because while we play this game, each, I would say each couple of days, this place is going to be empty. There's going to be less and less and less food in here. And we're going to see how that's going to work. Then we're going to, let's just go in the bath. This is the bathroom. You got your shower right here. Okay, so as you can see, there's a water tank right there that's connected. See, he did, granddad did all of this. He's very, very, uh, very good at doing stuff like this. Very talented man, you know, very talented. And, um, he pretty much, like I said, he built all of this. He got these scraps from, uh, from a junkyard place. And, uh, right here, he got a few little lotions and stuff like that. And then in here, we got a lot of paper towels, a lot of, uh, paper towels in there. In those drawers and that's it you, know, you got your mirror your sink and a towel and uh yeah okay so in this room with this door is at this is the bedroom this is the bedroom that's his daughter's bag could like I, they just got here they pack a few things um he has lots of bed he built this himself he built this bunk bed <laughs> Yeah, and he got some of these here. Um, she got her bag, her daughter's stuff, and his shoes. And, uh, and But this place is going to be crowded, though. That's the thing. Like I said, there's more people coming. There's more people coming in here. So, I don't know. I don't know if there's going to be more space. But we'll see what happens. Because as you can see, there's only six beds in here. Six beds and a couch. So, let's see how that's going to work. So, right here, they're just having a little chat. I know he's explaining to her what's going on what he think is going on you don't know exactly what's going on but you know he's telling he's telling her she needs to know you know but uh oh man so right now were they just chatting you know and now uh, he has his TV, he has radio down here. You see his, his little radio down here. They listen into the news to see what's going on. But they trying to hear the news. <laughs> and uh, some of y'all probably wondering, like, how is he watching TV? Well, he has like a VCR under here. Um, yeah, we're gonna pretend there's a VCR under there. So he has like movies and stuff like in these containers right here. In this container right there, he has like movies and TV shows, so they're able to still watch TV. And as you can see, she's uh, they have this uh, what you call this thing right here? This stitching type of thing. See, keep herself busy. And um, let me see what her daughter is doing. She's over here making a mess. I can't even see her. We're gonna have to put this down. I usually don't like to put the whole thing down. But this is how it looks. Woo, this place is a, it's a lot of stuff here. <laughs> it's a lot. All right, she's here. Aww. I know he's happy that he has company. Because he was living here by himself for, for a while. For a very long time living here by himself. You know, he's a shy person. But he, you know, he loves to be around people at the same time. But... He, he, most of the times, he stays by himself, you know? He likes being by himself sometimes. But he's very happy that his family is here, you know? This is all he has. Since his, you know, his son passed. His wife, you know? They, you know, they're best of friends. <laughs> they love each other. Oh, So, oh. Oh, I love them. I love them. They're very nice people. So, this is the thing. So, Granddad is going to leave soon. 
he needs to see what's going out there. He's going to wear his gas mask, of course, and bring some weapons and stuff with him. Because, you know, he has to protect himself. So, his granddaughter really don't want him to go out there. She wants him to stay here and just chill. Uh, let me see something. She's hungry. I think they're all hungry. So, I'm going to have granddad cook something up. He's trying to go on his phone. Granddad, you know there's nothing. You can't. <laughs> there's no internet service, granddad. <laughs> there's not really no internet service. So, I don't know how you're going to do this. All right. So, we're going to make something. I'm going to have him cook something. Why I can't cook anything? It says survivors can't use this. Are you serious? So what can they use? Oh no! So because because they're survivors, because I do have. It's saying that they can't cook. So what can they use? How are they gonna eat? So maybe they only could use the microwave. Let me see. So I guess they only could use the microwave, y'all. They cannot cook on the stove. So we're going to microwave some dinner. But he's only going to be able to cook for himself. So they're all going to have to, yeah. All right, I mean, I guess. I mean, in a way, I guess it kind of makes sense in a way. It makes sense. All right. And she's hungry too. So I'm going to have the little girl... Um, make some instant noodles. Why well, keep calling her a little girl? Her name is Sky. I gotta remember her name is Sky. And Maya is hungry too, so Maya's gonna. I'm gonna wait for her daughter to finish. I'm gonna. T I'm gonna assign their bed too. We're going to assign their bed. So I'm gonna have. Let me see. Cause Maya already put her. Let me see. Maya already put her suitcase here. So I might have her and her daughter sleep on this side. So we're going to assign her. She's going to be under here. So I'm going to assign her to that bed. Right? Her daughter is going to sleep up here. So she's assigned to that bed. And granddad could be next to them. Or maybe he might want to be close to the door. Well, I mean, they're all close to the door. <laughs> they all... Wait, What? He's showing high blood pressure. All right. He has pills. He's good. He has a lots of pills. He has lots of pills. So he's good. I'm going to have granddad. Uh, I guess granddad could just assign next to them. So at nighttime, they could talk to each other. Yeah, that make more sense. Granddad could sleep right here. So that way he could talk to his granddaughter at night. You know, they love talking to each other. And then he has like three more beds to fill in. So, uh, he's gonna go outside soon. Is he fish eating? So, oh, God, poor granddad. I feel so bad for him. <laughs> anyway, so, I mean, like I said, this man has lots of stuff here. Like, he has everything he needs. All right? So can we start, you know what we're going to start doing? We're going to go and see if we could rescue one more, see what's going on outside. We're going to do that for granddad. So granddad's going to go outside. Those people left. Let's see if they left. Oh, they left. They left, y'all. They're gone. Woo. Thank you. I'm glad that they left. I'm glad. Okay, because we don't want too many people hanging around here. Because what's going to happen when there's too many ha people hanging around here? It's not just the zombies you got to worry about. You got to worry about uh, bad people. You know, there are some bad people out there. You know, will do anything to take, you know, take whatever you got. They will do it. I'm surprised nobody didn't come in and try to take the truck. Well, they can't take the truck. The truck is all messed up. But I'm surprised nobody didn't, you know, take this. I mean, they can't really take. I mean, they, can they? I mean, they probably could if they really want to. They probably would have to hook it up. But this is the town, y'all. This is strange. This is uh, Strangerville. Yeah, Strangerville. And um, he's gonna go out here. It's gonna be risky. I don't know if he should come out here. And maybe we should wait. Maybe at night. Or maybe we should just no. You know what? No, night will be worse. I think he should come out here now. So, uh, 
we gotta take our time though it's scary out here it's very, very scary out here so we're gonna see what we can get okay he usually this is some of the stuff that he picks up there's some few scr uh, sc scraps of parts that he use you know and uh so yeah we're gonna do that we're gonna see if we could see if we're gonna rescue some more people out here so granddad is out here he's looking he's looking and um he doesn't see no life at all he knocked on the neighbor's door but some of them yeah some of them are gone um some of them are you know passed away um so yeah it, this is heartbreaking you know I'm thinking, you know, in the future, granddad's going to have to, like, move. He might just, you know, because I don't know how long he's planning to stay in the bunker or what you want to call it, bomb shelter. He called it the bomb shelter because, you know, he built it that way, you know, just in case a, a bomb happens. He's safe. Nobody can't go, go down there. But, um, granddad might gonna have to, like... <clears throat> He needs to worry about fixing his car. He might have to take a car, take one of these cars. And I mean, he has, uh, he has, uh, he has gas. You know, he has a, a container of gas um, that he could, you know. So he's good on that. He's, he's coming back. He did have his mask though, but he just took it off. <laughs> so Granddad is back. Yeah, Granddad is back inside, safe. Thank God. See, the camera is blinking right there. So, it shows you that it's working. All right. We're back inside. Did y'all see that plane flying? Oh, my God. Y'all missed it. There was a plane flying. Oh, my God. So, there are some some more military, you know, people out there, you know. But that's the thing. Granddad, I don't know if they want to stay here this long. Okay. Oh, She's doing her homework. Poor thing. She don't. She knows a little bit what's going on, but she doesn't really know exactly what's going on. But she, look at her. She is so sad. She missed her dad. Her father. Um, we don't know if her father's alive. He, you know, he was locked up. Um, for um money laundering. So they don't even know if he's alive. They don't even know. So she missed her dad. She missed her friends. You know, it got it, it's got to be rough. You know, she's she's a kid, and sometimes kids want to be around other kids. But uh, I guess she's gonna go sleep too. They all tired. I, I'll be tired too. I I feel like I'll probably sleep all day. I mean, what else? What else there to do? You know, like this this will drive me. This will drive me crazy. This will drive me crazy. All right, y'all. So they going to sleep. So what's? It is late at night. It's a Sunday night. All right, y'all. So everyone is up. Everyone is up. This was this little cutie. <laughs> I can't forget her name. Sky. Oh my God. Sky. Sky is up, and she's watching some old TV, uh, TV show. Let me see what she's watching. You can't really see much. Let me see. Let's see what she's watching. She's watching some. You could tell she's watching some old film. Can't hardly see much because the TV is kind of messed up. Um. I'm gonna let him start um with the yeah. the garden, but right now, you know what? I'm gonna pause it right here. I'm gonna pause it right here because I don't want this video to be too too long, you know. So make sure you're subscribed. So go down there and subscribe, people. Okay, if you want to see uh, if you want to see part two of this series. Okay, we're gonna like I said, we're gonna continue this series, and every time you watch the series, you're gonna see. This pantry is going to have less and less food. I don't know how they're going to survive. And in the next series, you're going to see uh, more people coming here to stay. Don't know how that's going to work. And then we're going to start out, you know, start doing a little bit more uh, garden here. Start making some, you know, make some more vegetables and stuff. So, uh, yeah, it's going to be fun. So make sure you subscribe to my channel and I'll see you later. Peace.